So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Power Week, it means that Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update and by the time you see this, I'm not sure if the August update, but either way, we're going to review the July, so yay, Power Week! Anyhow, hello guys, before we start the video, I need to say this, I recorded this video yesterday and I didn't have the Power BI July update installed, so I installed it. And now that the Power BI team has released the August update, which was yesterday, I realized that I got the August update without knowing it. So when I think I'm reviewing the July update, I'm actually reviewing the July-August update. So in case you see features there from the August update, now you know. So what you're about to see is the July-August update instead. So just I just wanted to know so you don't get confused. Back to the video now. We're going to talk about eye concept, and I thought it was going to be, you know, one of these sweet and short videos. No, it's not. Uh, there's a lot of things to talk about. They've done a comprehensive job in here. There are some things that I wish they were a little bit different. We'll talk about those too. And then some things that people have been asking the community of, you know, questions and stuff. Okay, so icons. Um, I have made around like six, seven videos on icons because it was not possible to do it before. And now they have added it. So they say that I have now Power BI has the same conditional formatting capabilities as Excel. Yay. Amanda said that in the video. So that is great. Now, how do you do icons? How do you add icons? This is, there are two ways to do it. You can do them on matrix and tables. And then there are two ways to do it. You can put them here. You pick here the um, value that you want and then you turn it on. Or you can do it the same way that you did it before. We're going to actually turn it off. Because in this case, we want to pick that, put it on only year over year. Here's the thing. And I've said that on every single KPA video I've ever done. Choose which value you want to highlight and then highlight just the green or the yellow or the red. Don't highlight every, everything. If I put it like this, the Power BI team by default is putting all the colors in the spectrum. Which is not good. I mean, attention span on people is getting less and less. Just make sure you highlight what is important. So it is important that you are doing better if you're doing worse. If you've been doing bad for a while, you just highlight the green. Or, you know, you want to see where you're missing your targets, highlight the red only. Or if you want to know, you know, places where you're almost losing it, the yellow. But don't highlight everything. You don't see anything. Okay? So tip number one, highlight the things that you need. Uh, that means that you just delete the ones that you don't want. Okay? And now you'll see that it says percentage by default, which I think is a pity. You know, to start with, I think this user interface, you know, the, the actual icon thing is confusing. It's as confusing as it can be. So now they add more confusion by putting percentage. Mm. I'd rather have number. What does percentage mean? In this case, it means that all the values are, are between 67% and 100. So the top third values, if you have your data set and you divide it in three parts, the third one that has the highest values will get the green. In this case, it's just one. Okay. More often than not, that's not what you want to do. You have a set of values and you want to I am guessing. You tell me in the comment box, but probably I, I, I might be wrong. So just shout me. So I'd rather have a number. And I say, I want to say, okay, for the value, I know my data set and I know that, you know, this is percentage. So we need to put them on um, decimal format. So I'm going to say that zero point. So all the points that are from 90% above, I want green. And that's the only thing I want to highlight. So 90% is put 0 0.9. And then this trick I learned from Chris Webb during the summer. He tweeted it and he has a blog post. I will actually link to his blog post down below. And I said, hey guys, I've seen that people are, you know, if I want to see is less or equal than, I don't know what the 
biggest number is going to be, obviously. How can I know? It's a dynamic table. So what number do I write? And I, uh, you have to write a number. You, you cannot just... Uh, that's what I thought. And I'm fairly certain, again, tell me in the comment box if I'm wrong, that if you didn't write a number before, you get an error. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, so here, I would... I did, and I guess a lot of people did it, was to put like a ridiculously large number, so it will cover the values forever. But what Chris taught us is, if you go in here, you put icons, and then you remove the number, it will see, do you see that it says maximum? It means that you don't need to write anything. Power BI dynamically will identify which number it is and put it in there. So now it doesn't give you an error, it works, so what really really cool thank you chris awesome okay so i have explained the percent on the numbers i would love the power bi team to change the number comments on the let me know your comments below so i know if that's something that you want to uh chris web tip best i have i have a list because there are a lot to talk about Best practice highlight only one there are two ways to get conditional formatting and the icons get not applied on totals. What? <laughs> Come on. You know, in the matrix, if you go in here and you go to field formatting, you have here year over year, let's pick that. You can actually go here and say apply the total, but the icon won't show. So I would love to have the icon also on the totals, obviously. We want to know what individual products we're doing well or not. And obviously we want to know in the total how well we're doing overall. Okay. So hopefully soon, who knows? Now, wait, because this is 62. So you might say, hey, Ruth, you said that. If it is 62, you shouldn't write anything. Let's, 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 maybe I was speaking too much. Let's put 60. No, it is still nothing there. Okay. So we know, and if you would like to have also on totals, tell Microsoft Ideas Power BI dot com. Um, yes, let's look at the properties. What you what you can do when you're formatting these things. Um, you have uh, format based by rules and by field value. I'll show you in a second, and then you have the possibility to have the icon left on the data, right on the data, or only the icon. Great. The alignment will be at the top and the middle of the bottom. And then these are the icons that the Power BI team gives you by default. But I'm going to show you later, like, like in this video, you can actually add your own icons to the list. How gorgeous is that? Awesome. Okay, so uh, another great thing is this. You can actually reverse the icon order. How cool is that? I mean, you don't need to do it manually. You just click in there and it will just change. Now, let's move into field value. Let me show you. I have actually stole the uh, all the details. Amanda, on her video, she created one. I stole it. I was lazy, sorry. And uh, you can see here that the GIF is displaying correctly, the star is displaying correctly, but the SVG is not. So I just stole it from her and there is a, um, a typo on there. So if you're still in that, make sure not going to work. I just went and downloaded her file. I showed you in a previous video how to download files and um, I stole it again. <laughs> so let me show you. I have the it was actually the, the formatting of the SVG. So I have icon measure two. And now you can see that it works. If you want to work with SVG uh, measures, uh, David made a uh, webcast on the Power BI uh, YouTube channel. And it is fantastic. He does a really, really deep dive on SVGs. So I'm Leave them below if you want to see it, if you want to know how to format the SVG so they work, okay? And I love his voice. He has a fantastic voice. Okay. Um, 
we've done that. Now, type of icons, type of icons. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, do you see the fire? You can have GIFs, you can have PNGs, you can have the standard icons, you can have SVGs, so you can have anything you want. And you can see here on her measure, on Amanda's measure. So this is the SVG, properly formatted so it works. Check David's video if you want to know exactly how you format and create these SVGs. The SVGs need a, a, an internet connection, okay? Won't work offline. So for that, you need to do the ones that are built in, or maybe you can you cannot have an internet, you know, a, a URL. They have to be embedded. You can embed on PNG. And I have a video on how to embed PNGs in Power BI, so go and check it out, and then you just replace this by the embedded. PNG and then you can put any icon you want. These are the ones that are built by default in Power BI. And you can see there is a name in here and it's been like a, a roar on the internet. And where do I find those names? I'm sorry, my friends, but it is the biggest secret in Power BI history. I don't know where they are. Um, I was hoping that when you, know, when you go in here, and there is my third feedback to Microsoft. You go into rules and then do you see here that you get the icons? I was thinking if you hover over, you'll get the actually ID name. Mm -mm -mm. But there was somebody that somehow, I have no idea how, managed to um, manage to find the name of those things. I'm going to link down below on that post. But I think it's ridiculous. You know, he actually made a um, Power BI file that you can download on his blog post, which is also on, on here in the Power BI community. So here is the list. And then if you go to his uh, blog at the end in here, it's a little bit hidden and it's in Spanish. So go to the end and nombres iconos. That there is where you download the Power BI file. But, oh my God, do I have to really download the Power BI file and have it on hand just to be able to find the name of the icons? Not good. So please, Power BI team, on the icon list, at least this is handy. It would be great if we could find here. I mean, it is a lot of click, 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 but at least it's in there. and. We don't have to go open something else somewhere else, in my opinion. Okay, so if you, now that you have the list, you can put any icon you want in here, okay? And then this is the GIF. This is the thing that you see on fire in there, okay? So you can grab any GIF you want, put it in there, we'll render. Now, with power comes responsibility. It is great that the Power BI team is hoping for this possibility, but please, please use it with care. Don't abuse it. I, I don't want to see Power BI files with fires everywhere. You have to be mindful that your users, they have another job. Data is something that they need to do their main job. Data is not their main job. So all these things are distracting to the actual task that is grab the information and go do an awesome marketing content or better pricing or whatever it is that they are trying to do. So use them with care. And if in doubt, don't use them. Use the, the normal ones, okay? Just... Uh, so, so the, you know, I remember if you are too young, maybe you didn't suffer this period, but, you know, mobile phones came around and, uh, oh my gosh, you know, before there was just one ringtone and each manufacturer has his own ringtone. So you can say, oh, there is a Nokia or there is a Sony Ericsson or whatever it was. So, you know, it was very clear, but suddenly the mobile phone companies decided, oh, we're going to let people choose their um ringtone oh, what a nightmare you could hear oprah you heard hip-hop and you you heard everything you know in public places it was just annoying and not only that you could then change 
the ringtone for a specific person. So you could see a dog barking when somebody's mom called, which I thought was just this not a good taste, honestly. So you could hear absolutely everything. Now, that thing disappears and that gives me faith in mankind because there are no laws that say you cannot change your ringtone, but people understand that it's annoying and it's not doing it anymore. Thank you. So this is the same. So every time I would see this, I would think of ringtones, you know, being on a train and hearing everybody's taste of music or dogs barking or whatever it is people find funny. So be be respectful with your audience, okay? Okay, uh, what else? What else? Um, JSON file. Yes, yes, you can. Um, on If you go to Corbel Downloads and you go to Membership Downloads, you will find my JSON theme. I have updated it now with the sample that um, Amanda had on her blog. And... Uh, I tested it, it works brilliantly. So what you can do is you can add icons and then you can modify existing icons. So you can say, my star medium light, I want to be this PNG instead of something else. And now, if you see here the PNG, uh, it is a URL, so it will only work online. Otherwise you can embed it, okay? And say, medium star light should be, mm. So, there you have it. Maybe you can have like a comment here with the name of the icons until Power BI team finds a way to give us the names in an easier way. So you can download it. The, the code is there. It is also on her blog post. So awesome. And for once in a lifetime, I'm actually remembering to do this. I did publish this to the Power BI service and uh, it, it worked. So the icons are already available and visible on the Power BI service. So any icon that you publish, it will be seen on the Power BI service. And I've also checked the, um, the, let me show you, let me open that one. And in the meantime, open, so let's see. Come on, baby. We're going to see some fire now, hopefully. And there you have it. So you see the icons are showing. And I tested that on mobile also to see if it worked. And it did. You can see there, you go to North Wind, that's just the workspace where I published it. And then to the... Um, report and then you can see that they are there. I couldn't scroll on the table with the finger so I cannot show you that all of them are, are there but I'm hope but I guess they are. So if one works why wouldn't the others? So everything works everywhere. Awesome update. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions, comments? Just push them down below and we will continue with Power, B Power Week updates. When the Power BI team releases the August update, I will review that together with this. So you will have a July, August Power Week from my side. Okay, so this is over today. Have a great day. Enjoy your icons responsibly. Promise me that. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye. <laughs>